All right. Go ahead and send that bad boy to me, man. Um. So, like the I'm first. Not, okay. I'm not going like that because like that is just it's the throwout. You don't but, count. That. But push-ups was a throwout too because it's not a true Kendrick diss. I mean, it was. He dissed Kendrick, and then he, he dissed other people. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not but a... Even the hook is about dissing Kendrick. But that's it's not a, a dead... It's really all of them niggas. To tell them all. Yeah, it's, it's 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 pretty much all of them, but the whole... The hook itself is yeah. a diss. The whole album cart is... A, uh, the album art is a diss. The 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 whole situation... It was it was a light diss. I would, I would say that starts round one because majority of that song involves... Talking about Kendrick, I'm talking down to him, and it splits and everything else. That's why I would say that starts round one. The the prelims was just what Kendrick said on somebody else's song. This was Drake's actual song, as his actual song. So that's why I say that starts round one, and then Kendrick's response with Euphoria is is it responded to you know. So Drake dropped that one, then he back to back, I'm listening, and then hit him with uh. The Taylor made, which was really all about him, but it was more so to get him like, hey, now you can't back out of this. Yeah. So for me, round one really starts with Euphoria. If we're just gonna compare it, even though Euphoria responds to both diss tracks, round one for me, <clears throat> they're really good, bro. I for me, it's it's hard to say. It, it's it's really hard to say. Cause you're saying you think it what I'm thinking, like like, and before you do answer, think about it, bro. Push ups was really a throw out track to see who's gonna respond. Cause you notice Rick Ross responded. He dissed multiple people in yeah. that track, in that record. So yeah, it was heavily based off of the premise was Kendrick, but you wasn't the only one. I'm dissing future, I'm dissing Metro, yeah, 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 I'm dissing yeah. Ross. Like he was going on. So it was the reason why I say that, and the only reason why I said it is because he didn't get time to dedicate the whole diss to Kendrick without a hook. Because most diss records don't necessarily have a hook. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So it wasn't a true well, well, nah, most, most, to, most. I said most. Yeah, right, yeah, most. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, but I get, when I'm coming for your head, I'm writing. I'm yeah. Like, yeah, 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 I can yeah, throw yeah. A, a cool little hook, a line that's going to, I can repeat. But I'm really, I'm not trying to make radio play. I'm really trying to tell you. If that. I had to, if I had to be honest, I'm dropping. Uh, I'm a. Oh, you sending to the Google Drive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I had to be honest, I'm gonna go ahead and probably say Kendrick up. He's up. I want to say two one. He's up. I do two one. Because these are not tradition. It's the way they this. Because Kendrick's has just solely been about Drake. So. If you want to, somebody said three oh. Three oh? I don't I don't know about that. I'm not well, hey, that's your opinion. I don't I don't think it's a complete watch. First of all, what I don't if, think it's do y'all watch battle rap? Because like how are we we're not in three rounds. <laughs> yeah, we're not even three rounds. Like we're not counting uh the like that. I I'm gonna go two two one. I'm gonna go if I had to compare tracks, I think push ups, I like push ups. A little bit more than Euphoria, but but in comparison to the track we just heard now, six sixteen in LA, I think this is better than the Taylor Made. Yeah. So technically, yeah. it wouldn't be. So technically, it'd probably be like if I was comparing it to, it would probably be one one then. It's one if, one. Yeah, it would be one one then technically. Because this is the technically still in the first round to me. Yeah, it would be one one. What we eating fruits, man? Yeah, yeah it would be, appreciate that HKM. It'd be one one then, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. Kendrick really didn't have to do nothing much, but just not make a bad song. Yeah, because the hip hop community don't want to like Drake. True, Un unbiasedly speaking, right? Like. Niggas in the hip hop community been not one of the niggas hate when you've been great for so long. Like, we gonna discredit him as much as we can. And let me cook. But niggas wanna discredit him as much as they can just because. Because he been winning. So that too. That you can't deny that. Like that's let's, that, let's that just, is the thing. Be, let's be honest here. Like, I can love Kendrick, I can love Cole, I can love whoever. 
but we got to be honest. Niggas don't want to like. I don't think that's true. How is that not true, bro? Niggas, niggas been not, bro. True, bro, true. Did you not up. hear? Did you hear the Ken? Uh, not Kendrick. Fucking Kanye. He said it on the interview when they were all trying to link up to take down these niggas. There was a whole bunch of niggas in the industry that was excited to be taking down Drake, bro. That and then, and you know, let me give you an example. And this is just what I'm thinking. It's not colorism, P. We stop that. Remember when uh, Patrick Mahomes came out and niggas wanted him to take down um, Tom Brady and we love Pat Mahomes and all that because he he had this throwing ability that we hadn't seen and all this Mm -hmm. stuff. Do you know last year they did the um, survey to see who's the most hated team? Guess who's the most hated team? Kansas City. Over the Dallas Cowboys. Why might you think that is, Ross? Because they keep winning. What changed about Pat Mahomes? Nothing. What did he do that was different from what we start liking him? Nothing. But start winning. Niggas hate when you winning. They love the underdog story. So yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to make this like, oh, running for rooting for Drake or Drake gotta respond or he's dead. Let's, yeah, let's for just get sure. that, let's yeah, just nah, get that yeah. out the way. Uh, and it gotta be a good response. It can't be. It has no to bullshit. be a good response. And, and Kendrick, I like how Kendrick flipped the script and to make he it needs to where to it's refute- in his hands now. He needs to refute some of these points too. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just saying, like as a as a listener to music, bro, people just got to be honest with some things. They were gonna give an edge to Kendrick regardless. I already knew that was gonna happen. Like, yeah, bro, these are the same niggas. Because if this is Drake taking 17 days to respond to respond, y'all on this nigga head, right? Oh, nigga, I knew you couldn't write or the ghostwriters do do do. Like, you gotta understand, like people really don't want to see him win. Mm-mm. So it don't necessarily, he got not only a hill to climb facing Kendrick, but he got a hill to climb facing people who fickle. Like one yeah. minute y'all saying, oh, Kendrick, the dark skin nigga's down because this nigga took too long to respond. Quavo responded faster than you. This beef is harder than that beef. I'm over it. Mm-hmm. And then at the same time, now it's more like, oh, yeah, Drake, you done. Uh, I told you this nigga Kendrick's going to kill you. And all that will be true if Drake don't respond how he's supposed to respond. But I don't think we can count him out just yet until he respond. Now, if he respond and the shit is some Magoo, yeah. we'll be he on takes- here the first one to tell you like, ah. Yep, he took that L. But at the end of the day, I don't know, bro. I just feel like people are fickle. <laughs> people don't people don't like when you winning. And it, and it works in Kendrick's bag because he puts out music every five, six years. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So we're not getting um, oversaturated with Kendrick always in our face all the time you know what i'm saying so it that's what i meant and that's what i was trying to say like bro when you are like when joe budden went against mook uh mook or los went against uh i forgot who he battled on battle rap but whenever you're a a, a, an entertainer and you you got more shit bro niggas can pull from love and hip-hop with joe budden they can pull from the podcast like i got more ammo for you when you're the popular artist or the popular opponent Mm-hmm. Yeah, I go in peace and be ducked off. Now I can't just say no scandalous shit that happened with you on TMZ. I really got to come for you on bars, on wax. That's why I felt like for hits, it's cool Kendrick and Drake. But lyrics and and I really don't got no scoop on you, Cole and Kendrick. Because you ain't hearing too much shit about Cole. We ain't never seen no picture of his sons or all this other stuff. Both of them, neither... Kendrick and Cole kind of live the same way in a way. I'll say Cole drop a little bit more to Kendrick, but Mm -hmm. or you hear from him more, way more, but they kind of have that same like lifestyle in a little bit. So no, it's not he's not saying it's Kendrick's fault. He's just saying that's the situation. No, no, no. I'm not I'm not saying it's fault. Yeah, no, that's 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 the situation and what it is. Some niggas don't some niggas see that's and this is what I'm talking about. Niggas only wanna once your mind is made up, you're not gonna be open to hearing what nobody else gotta say. Y'all just gonna go keep arguing. I love what's going on for hip hop. For sure. So we all technically win. At the end of the day, bro, we winning. Because if it wasn't for this situation, we would have never heard and, Kendrick's and, diss. And hey, twice. you have a point. Ain't that Drake fault? He be embarrassed. Yeah, he be doing some wild stuff. My nigga just had True. some nail polish on the other day, hugging Birdman. I saw and I was like, I was, ah. I was looking for that bar. I was, I was like, really looking for that I bar. I was for waiting Kendrick. for that bar. I was like, ah, no. 
damn it, Drake, what are you doing? No. Me and Ross talked about the same thing, like with Sexy Red. Like, what is? Look how they um, look how they forced Sexy Red upon us, and then now, tell me, tell me this ain't true. Look how they forced Sexy Red upon us, right? Now niggas now are actually saying, yeah, Sexy Red kind of. And I knew it. I'm like, bro, watch. Because at first it was just, oh, uh, that is wild. Somebody talking about they booty hole brown and shit like that. Like, bro, what are we listening to in music? Woo. I said, watch. Mm-hmm. And they did exactly what I thought they were going to do. They got a nigga. They got niggas starting to co-sign her. More, she's more ratchet. Now, even on some of the podcasts I listen to, I like her because she's ratchet. She's just her. We made that shit acceptable. Mm-hmm. And then you do this, and then Drake himself start to co-sign her, start sending her shit, and all of these artists start doing. I'm like, bro, see, and this is this is what happens. This is what now. Nah, I like when Kendrick dissected all of that, because mm-hmm. that, that shit is true. Yeah, what he was saying, I, it's a and lot of people broke him saying. down. He broke him down as a, a as artist, a as a man. As a, mm-hmm. Um, as a father. <laughs> like yeah he was cooking them he was cooking that's why i said drake gonna have to come with it he gonna have to bring some real heat and yeah, two bad bees it, it can't be super uh superficial though but in in my opinion kendrick's in the league right now he is because of what he's saying and how he's saying it and how he's trying to create that doubt because there ain't nothing worse than knowing or feeling like there's somebody in your camp, multiple people in playing your camp. Playing mind games with him, bro. Playing that's it's warfare. I mean, this I mean Drake did the same thing with the whole Tupac and Snoop shit. That was mental warfare. So Kendrick doing the same thing too, but it's hitting closer to home. It's like you can use their voices, but them them same people that's in your ear, they telling yeah. everybody shit. So hey. that's what I like. That hey, that type nigga. of shit. That's where I, I was like, yeah, he kind of winning right now. I ain't going to hold you. And I'm a Drake fan. I've been listening to Drake since fucking his first mixtape. Like, I think 09, it was, yeah. <laughs> like damn near like 07 type shit. I, I think his first mixtape oh, was Room, Room for Improvement. That was his very mm. first mixtape, Room for Improvement. I've been listening since then. So I can be unbiased in a situation and I and keep it a buck. Hey, man, he get he getting you. He getting you. So I don't know what you're going to do, but you're going to have to make that 10 a.m. in fucking Kendrick's kitchen. Because, <laughs> hey, bro. So question. He cooking you. No pun intended. I got a question for y'all, chat, Ross. Mm-hmm. Of course, since I can hear you, you can answer first. <laughs> do you think Drake has the ability to get with Kendrick? He does. It's just going to. It depends. I think it's gonna have to be a hit, because that so? it's gonna have to be a hit. But it's also gonna have to be something that he's saying that we've never really heard about. A hit, him. as in like a radio jam or like bars. It's, it's gonna be. It's gonna have to be bars. But we know he has to play to his strengths, and his strengths is hits, making hits. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, when you got somebody that's coming at your character like this. And and trying to dissect you, you're gonna have to drop some shit that no one's ever heard of about Kendrick. Cause I mean, a lot of people haven't heard a lot about Kendrick, but you're gonna have to start breaking shit down that nobody really un really never knew and start questioning some of the things that he do. Because at the hard. end of the day, it is hard, but I do think it's doable. I do. The thing is, is making it to the point where it's one of those things where it's like, because Kendrick a ghost, bro. You said what? Kendrick's a ghost. How do you, how do you find dirt on a ghost that you can't see? Once again, I I do think Drake has something, even though he's been put probably sending out feelers. I'm sure he has something because he feels very confident. He's been feeling confident. I don't know if he still feel that way now. You better keep that up, my boy. But well, keep that he, keep that facade up. He gonna have to. It's gonna have to be something that no one expected, and it's gonna have to be something where he can bar him down. But it gotta be a hit. It has to be a hit. Because if it's if it's something like what we got with Taylor Made, that's cool. But that's not gonna win. 
I'm just be honest with you. But I don't think he he. Let's see. We gotta stop doing that though. He didn't come to win with Taylor Made. Oh no, he, he wasn't. But I'm saying it can't be nothing in the resemblance of that. It, it has I to don't be think, nothing I don't but think, I straight think heat. He's he's he's. It's suicide if he comes out with something like Taylor Made, because Taylor Made was just a nigga. Come on, right? It's been a week. Or however long it had been at that time. Come on, man. Mm-hmm. Come on. We waiting. Come on. That's what Taylor May was. That's then, what I'm saying. It it gotta be more. It has to be along the lines of the drop uh the push-ups, but it has to be a bigger hit, bro. Because the thing is with Drake is if you have a diss that's like fire to the point where it's being played on the radio and it's being played in the clubs and stuff like that. He can't you start, hide from you, it. You can't hide from that. Especially if there's at least a line or two that will always resonate. You know what I'm saying? Like, we hit them up. You know what I'm saying? Like the classics, like No Vaseline, some of these classic diss tracks yeah, where was there so was good. just lines that when you heard it, everyone repeated it. It has to be that. And that's the tough thing because... If you're going to bar him up, you're going to have to come with some some heat. You're going to have to come with some shit we ain't never heard. But if you want to really solidify, like, I'm the best in this shit, you're going to have to drop something that's going to stand the test of time where people will be like, damn, I remember when this nigga dropped this hoe. Yeah. And, yeah, and it's like, like, we remember when he dropped back-to-back. Granted, it was against Meek, but he dropped back-to-back, and that shit was the song for the year. It was a diss. Mm-hmm. It was they were playing. They played it out like I got tired of hearing the fucking song, yeah. but it worked. The classic line is that your girl is that your tour, your girl's tour. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. That's the really the only way he could possibly come out with a win in this next round. But to it's me, he hard. always do that because charged up to me hit. I still charged up, charged hit, up, but that wasn't the hit back to back. Was but the that's hit the with. thing because he threw that out there. It was a throwout. True. Even the but, beat, the beat told you it was all, mm, mm, and that's true. But like I said, he it's gonna have to be a hit for this one. Oh, there's some charity today for the kids. It's gonna have to be a hit for this one, bro. There's there's no other way around it. And like I said, he gonna have to come. If I'm him, the bars gotta go crazy, bro. The I, bars I'd rather bars go crazy. Hit. The bars gotta go crazy, but also he needs to he needs to start trying to break down Kendrick's character too. Because at the end of the day, he can sit up here and say how he feels about Drake now, and that's fine. But let's keep it a buck. One, Drake was Charged one of the people. Didn't hit nothing. Charged. Huh? We're not even going to bring that up. That's old. That's freaking years old. Just say you didn't like it's, it, bro. It's going to have to be one of those situations where he's going to have to drop some truths, bro. Drop some truths. <laughs> Maybe get a fucking voicemail. Got to pull a goddamn. He gonna have to pull damn near. He gonna have to pull a uh a what's the name? <laughs> a fucking Chris Brown. But mm. I don't know. Just not too violent. <laughs> like semi violent. <laughs> it's gonna have to be semi violent. Can't be too violent. I don't know, man. Didn't it, Kendrick I just was... say he tried to get dirt and nothing got back? Oh, I don't know. Nothing. I don't know about to hit him up. <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. Like, like that's what I'm saying. If if, if he don't have dirt, he's gonna have to go hit, man. He's yeah, he right. gonna have to go hit. But once again, we don't know their type of relationship and all types of stuff. So, you know, we'll see. But once again, he's gonna have to go hit. He's gonna have to. All Kendrick should be so low key. Huh? Because I say all Kendrick stuff be so low key. Yeah, it's low key, but it's it's is more directed at the person themselves and breaking them down as as a human being like yeah. this is why this is why we don't fuck with you this is why you should be paying attention about the people in your camp instead of trying to get dirt on me yeah i know my life is boring so you can't really find much about it mm-hmm. but guess what i know something, something about, about you you, <laughs> you went to cram bro that's a, a private, private school, school. Ah, he, he definitely hit him with that <laughs> oh no and oh what's the name didn't even respond after that my boy say Kendrick Lamar says people in Drake Circle are backstabbing him on six sixteen in LA. Have you ever thought that OVO is working for me? That that's mm. the thing, bro. Like, yeah, 
That's why he's it's like in his head. He's trying to get in his head. Whether it's true or not, it depends. But this is not the first time we've heard somebody leaking something from Drake's camp. This is not the first time. That's why it's like it hit a little bit different because Drake's been down this road before. Mm -hmm. All I know is him and 40 need to be in that goddamn booth. Hey, son, I know he tried to say I'm not a good father, but I got to go to the studio. All right, dad. When you gonna be I out? I would have put that on the track. Like, don't hurt him, Dad. That that should be <laughs> that should be at the beginning of Drake's next next track. <laughs> dad, don't hurt him. Don't hurt him, Dad. That's it. And then you just going in, have a conversation with Top Dog. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> bro. So. You nigga working bar? for the nigga that <laughs> robbed your the dad. Bar. Hold on, bro. Let me let me uh nigga working for the nigga that robbed your dad, bro. Pull up. <laughs> um pull up Euphoria, bro. Hold on. I'm trying to get this video out. Hold on. Oh, okay. Let me just But I can pull it up real quick. I can go to the lyrics. Oh, okay, okay. Did Someone uh Someone has said something about <laughs> rap genius waking up early in the morning, nigga. <laughs> Get the damn lyrics. God damn. Right. <laughs> Getting shit wrong. <laughs> Crusting AI still. Uh. So. The bar. Let me see if you know who he talking about right here. His daddy a killer. He want to be junior. They must have forgot the shit that they done. Get get this in here. You hear me? What'd you say? Cole Sanity said it. What? His daddy a killer. He want to be junior. They must have forgot the shit that they done. Mmm. Mmm. I and I when I first heard, I was like, he he must be referencing Jay Prince then. But I wasn't sure, but I was like, it sounded like he's referencing Jay Prince. <clears throat> Bro. Yeah, it sounded like he was referencing Jay Prince. And once again. Bro. This is tea I'm drinking. <laughs> You're stupid. You're stupid, bro. This is tea with I'm Nisha, drinking. Nisha name on it, by the way. <laughs> Uh, got my E Win chair and use your promo code. So worth it. Thanks, guys. Hey, 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 hey let that. us know appreciate how it that. worked, man. Hey, send us a picture of you with it too, man. For sure, for sure, uh, man. On, on Instagram or Twitter, either one, we'll repost it. Good stuff, nah, man. For sure. Chairs are comfortable. It helped me get through these streams, man, because they live, bro. He he really said that. Mm hmm. At yeah. the end of the day. The day going in. <laughs> Hold yeah, on, man. Let's, didn't didn't he get uh? Hey, I don't know about that, Devin. I don't know nothing about that. My boy was ripping the album out of yeah, uh, W shirt Ross type shit. Hey, appreciate you, appreciate PVU, PVU, man. Yeah, man, when we produce some productive people out there, appreciate Shout you, out to man. U, U of H too, you know what I'm saying? Go cool. Yeah, you feel me. You feel me? Michael Irvin has been let go from Inner Network. Wow, really? I'm on Twitter right now. So, academics is going crazy right now. So, I'm trying to think here. What what does this do to Drake's career if he doesn't come on come out on top of this one? Well, you know, you know what happens when like. Roman Reigns when he lost at WrestleMania 40 mm -hmm. and then Cody became the champion. Yeah. He's the top guy. Cody's the top guy. And that's just that's the story simple. is just it. That's it. Kendrick would be the top guy and he could retire into the fucking sunset. Because it, it's not like he lost to no mid Carter. No. He's lost into he he would be losing to the people the 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 person that the people have felt a lot of people have felt is really the superior MC superior artist mm -hmm. and you finally and you actually lose 
the, the main event, and you've been talking the talk for so many years, and you lose. Kendrick could be the top guy. It's as simple as that. Mm. Simple as that. Drake is huge, so not much. Unless Kendrick drops some other shit that exposes him on some R. Kelly P. Diddy shit. He wouldn't lose in a sense of numbers, I don't think. Obviously, it's not going to kill his career. But, Damn, but. Ain't nobody listening to Kendrick after all of this. Drake is timeless. No, nah, niggas will listen to Kendrick, but Kendrick gonna keep doing what he's been doing. It's not gonna be like a you're gonna be hearing so many projects from him, but it will be it will be a situation where it's it'll be bigger than the push of T thing because Drake lost that. But he was able to still bounce back and create some great music and stuff like that. Boom, 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 boom. But this is bigger because it's Kendrick. And these have been talent. arguably the top two. People have been <laughs> Placing them in the top two, oh, top three category. Yep, Cole should be there, but we'll talk about that some other time. But um, yeah, man, he would drop down as not the the best MC. He would still have the best numbers. He gonna always have the better numbers, and that's fine. But as the best MC, the number one guy, it would be Kendrick. Mm. It would because no he got him. No more questions. It would be Kendrick. And at so that point... So Drake got a fight now. Like, his career's on the line. Yeah. In the sense of not album sales, but in the sense of just the competitiveness of the sport. Who's the Like, MC we remember the we remember when there was the whole Carter versus Carter, Lil Wayne versus Jay-Z. And it went on, no, like, real or, distant. Or but Drake this, and Nas. The, you mean Jay-Z and Nas? Yeah, Jay Z and Nas. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say Drake and Nas. What's yeah, going yeah, on yeah. here, no? But on that situation too, it's it's one of those things where Jay Z still was Jay Z, but you knew, you knew who was the better MC. You knew. But and then that's the thing because you know the culture still be like, nah, Jay Z had the better track, and and that's fine, but it don't. You know who the better MC? Who's the better? Because. You can be to say the same thing here. Drake may drop something that's super fire. It's gonna who, be on who's Jay Z and who's Nas. We know who Nas is. We know who Nas is. Come on now, Come what on, are we Chad. talking about? <laughs> we know who fucking would Nas be in this situation. It's Kendrick. Jay Z is the hit maker. Hmm. Jay Z made hits. Not to say Nas didn't have hits, but we know Jay Z has hits. I think. Kendrick's uh, a reformed version of Anaz because he actually has hits too. Yeah, he has hits too. So no, he, he's, you he can't, has hits too. You can't but strike him on the beat selection. No, you can't. That people did Nas. So, hmm. Jay Z, bigger star, Nas, better MC. Drake gonna be Drake regardless. I'm not even a Drake fan, but people who think Drake is corny will never change their mind. So, really. Can we say his career would be affected number hit wise? Uh, have we ever considered him to be an actual lyricist? I feel like Drake, Drake, kind of what Kendrick said, man. You gave the people what they wanted, not what they really needed. Like, but I mean, that's that's the lane that was, I guess, given to him when he got his start. Cause Jay Prince really didn't even see the 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 hype about him when his son it was brought him to him. It was Lil Wayne. Nah, I'm talking about when uh, Jazz presented him to um, Prince. Uh, yeah, originally. Very, yeah. Originally, he didn't really see it. He was like, this this, this who you want to sign? And his son was like, yeah, dad, this is going to be the future. This this dude is crazy. And then they, he was like, all right, I'm going to let you go ahead. I trust you. And then that's when they went ahead and uh, presented him to Wayne and went and cooked up that deal. So I feel like Drake just kind of, Drake has just been him in a way, like, he can be lyrical. He's more the emotional. People always say, you know, they got the soft and all this and all that. But I think he just been him. I was just talking to Nisha about that earlier when he did that uh that that song um uh having conversations with Mama, and he was just mm -hmm. like um I used to get teased about being black. Now I'm here and I'm not black enough because I'm not acting tough or making stories up about where I'm actually from. And I was just like, oh, shit. Like, he was just speaking from his truth of what he, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, Kenji just a reformed Nas. Like, he 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 has hits, too. That's like one of them things where you can't play Kendrick like he don't got hits. Like, 
nigga, I could put up numbers too. And what? So I think Drake got to swing like his career is on the line because yeah, he has to. You say you number one, and this nigga actually been that nigga right along with you, and now mm-hmm. we sitting here with our popcorn trying to see who gonna outdo who. You got to swing, bro. You got to if you ain't never been lyrical before, <laughs> it's time. He got to he got to convince him. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.